dear students today we are going to discuss about sequence diagram for atm cash withdraw go to model and click add diagram select sequence diagram so from that first we have to change the name of the editor as the name sequence diagram and author name dr k sudha as a company or organization its srm ist ramavaram campus if you have to add copyright information you can add it and i added as a version it's 1.1 right so next i am going to change the name of the sequence diagram as atm machine cash withdrawn so this is the process we are going to cover in today's diagram right so how the sequence diagram it will be uh, executed in the sequential order and the step by step i will explain how we have to draw the sequence diagram for atm machine cash withdrawal process right first i am going to add one actor so just you right click in that model and you select actor and the actor name i am going to mention as account holder right just you drag and drop in that screen and you will get that actor image and the actor image it's also part of lifeline so that's why by default it's mentioned as lifeline 1 next i am going to add the second lifeline the second lifeline name i am going to change as atm machine so that's a second part of lifeline and what kind of message we have to store so as a account holder when he or she try to withdraw the cash first they want to insert the card into the atm machine so that's a first message we have to interact with the machine right so next i am going to add one more a lifeline that is a lifeline 2 uh, it could be as a bank server so the bank server is the main part of uh, whatever that information we are interacted with atm machine right now what's the message we have to pass it here when we insert the code uh, that message it's passed to the bank server right so pass the code information to the bank server that the second sequence of our diagram so first we are inserting the code and that atm machine pass the information to the bank server and second uh, the step what we have to think about that what kind of reply message we have to get it from the bank server right just you right click it and you can add the reply message now as your reply message you can get in two different uh, that is message we can receive it from the bank server so whether that the card information is valid or invalid right so if the card information is valid now we are validating the card and we have to use the card information as invalid so that's the condition we have to apply it for sequence diagram so once if the card is invalid that information we have to pass it to the customer or the account holder right now i am going to use the message as invalid card so just we are entering or inserting the card that information is passed to the bank server so if the card once if it is validated if the bank server found that the card is invalid that message it's received from the atm machine that's a 
first stage right so next stage if when you validate that card if the card is valid so that's the condition we have to enter into got information right just now if the card is valid now what message we will get it from that the atm machine so once if the card is valid we have to enter the pin number right so that message we will get it from that atm machine just you then and there you can arrange uh, that uh, the lines even as a lifeline or the message or reply message you have to draw properly with sequential order so if you change that order that number immediately it will be changed and entire a diagram it will be collapsed so when you drag and drop that the image that number it will be denote that so what sequence if the sequence diagram is executing right so that's uh, the number we have to use it correctly now so once if the card is valid we have to enter the pin number that message it's received from the atm machine so now as a account holder it's enter the pin number the pin number is entered and again that information is passed on to that bank server from atm machine right so all the information whenever we interacted with the atm machine that information always communicated with bank server and the bank server only can validate that information and it pass on to the atm machine then based on that information either we can withdraw the cash or sometimes may not right now so once we enter the pin number that information it's pass on to the atm machine to bank server now pin number is validated again so if you enter the correct pin number or it may be as wrong so first i take that scenario if it is invalid that message it's pass on from the bank server to atm machine so now that the pin number is invalid just we got that message from the atm machine it's a invalid pin number right so if you not uh, draw that line properly you will get some kind of errors then just you have to drag and drop that position correctly that error it will be closed right the second one that pin validated whenever we validate that pin if the pin number is valid right so first stage if it is invalid it means that it's a invalid pin we enter that information we received from that atm machine now if the pin is valid so once pin a number is valid after the validation what kind of message we will get it from that atm machine that machine it's a request to enter the uh, that is cash withdraw information right so that message if we chosen that withdraw option it will be get that message from the atm machine for example if you are doing some other activity based on that activity we have to change uh, that uh, the a uh, sequence of number 12 right if you want to deposit some amount so that time what the atm machine will reply to the account holder request to deposit that amount right so if you want to get some mini statement so during that time that information it will be changed right so whatever that message we are interacted with that machine based on that information your sequence it's also changed right now the bank the atm machine is request to enter the withdraw, withdraw information as the account holder they want to enter that amount to withdraw from that account so they are entering the amount details again that information is passed on from atm machine to bank server right
so once we enter uh, that information as a bank server work it's validate that information and so during that time we can get uh, two kind of different information whether we have uh, that is a sufficient balance balance in our account or it could be as insufficient balance right so first i will check insufficient balance we request the atm machine to withdraw the cash that information is passed on from atm machine to bank server so after validation that the bank server it founds that we have insufficient balance right so during that time the atm machine it displays the messages you have insufficient balance you cannot withdraw the amount right so that's a message it's passed on from atm machine to account holder right and the next step if you have uh, that sufficient balance that's a true condition right so every time we have to take the decision whether it's true or false whether it's valid or invalid right now if we have that uh, sufficient balance after validation if we have sufficient balance in our account that information is passed on from the the atm machine to account holder and so during this time uh just i mentioned that i am going to delete that uh, sequence number 18 and as a atm machine if we have that sufficient balance that machine itself is creating the self loop right what it mean that machine it has to uh, that it count the cash right so uh, maybe you can add some more sequence for example during this time uh, after some validation we have to get it uh, the atm code from the machine so that sequence you can add and here what kind of amount you are going to get either 100 rupees or 500 or 1000 what kind of uh, that cash you have to withdraw that information i am not mentioned here and you can add it some more sequence in a better way to present your uh, that is uh, withdraw information right now what i mentioned here i created the self loop that self loop the sequence is 18 and the machine it's count the cash by that at that time and after that process is over the cash is a dispense from the atm machine and the account holder they can take the cash right and once we can withdraw that amount the atm machine it shows one more or uh, that information what it mean do you want to do another transaction right whether we want to expect another transaction so that message it's uh, displayed on the screen and now as a account holder they can decide that whether we want to do that another transaction or not right if you want to do that another transaction you can continue the same process and it start from that sequence number 1 to till the sequence number 19 right so if you want don't want to do that another transaction just we can uh, press either exit or it's no or whatever uh, that information which is displayed on the screen we have to enter that information and so once we entered no i don't want to continue the transaction that information is also passed on to the the bank server and now uh, that bank server it's close that uh, the transaction or it's exit from the transaction details right so you can uh, use some a uh, different kind of uh, technical words which one it's comfortable and which one it's a uh, meaningful to that uh, the sequence you can add it over your diagram right so at the last moment last stage the user or the account holder exit from that uh, the uh, atm machine or whatever that information which is already uh, interacted with that machine 
so all the details it will be terminated or the transaction is closed and uh, they can withdraw the cash successfully right so this is the way we can use the sequence diagram for atm machine cash withdraw right so if you want to add few more sequence uh, it's a uh, uh, depends upon uh, the different bank now uh, they are uh, displaying uh, different information so some atm machines uh, nowadays uh, they are getting otp right so after you enter your otp only you can log in into that system and even after uh, that is uh, we uh, get back our atm card then only we can uh, do that uh, the further process into our machine so such kind of information it will be differ from bank to bank or machine to machine so whatever that information it's uh, helpful to you related to that that sequence you can add it over your diagram right thank you thanks for watching